Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Linux laptop. This is a Linux Neuron Flex V8 model version and in this video I'm gonna go over because this laptop do get shipped with a 64 gig uh, storage capacity, it's just a little uh, EMCC chip on the motherboard, it's like a cell phone chip, it's soldered on the board that you cannot remove or uh, replace it with a different uh, higher capacity. But there's another way to upgrade this one. I'm gonna show you both ways of upgrading it, really easy. And you can install your Windows on a bigger storage. You can put up to 500 gig storage in here or one terabyte with no problem. Just remember when you do upgrades, you wanna back up your files, just your data, everything, just buy a USB drive and put your files in there. I made a short video how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive. I will leave that link in the video description. Also to install the Windows in here, just put the Windows USB in here, power it off. When you power on, keep tapping on F12 until you get the boot menu, choose your USB and start installing it. All right, so let's get into it, let's get it started. First thing first, you wanna power off the laptop or I'll call it a tablet with a keyboard. And on the bottom of here, you're gonna see one tiny space in here. This is to add the extra storage in here. So you wanna grab a your Phillips screwdriver. I will use the iFix screwdriver set. We're gonna use a Phillips number zero. And we're gonna remove this tiny screw right there. The screw has a little, uh, it has a bottleneck in it, so it will not come out entirely. Well, sometimes it does come, but don't worry about it. If yours doesn't come, just leave it on top. It stays mostly. All right. And then right away there, you can see that there is an M.2 storage space in here. This is an M.2 uh, SATA, not NVMe slot. So you can only put a SATA connector in here. So they do use a short uh, NVMe, uh, I'm saying NVMe. They do use a short uh, connector here board. So if you wanna buy a longer full size, uh, it will not fit in there, but there's a way to fit the full size storage in here. I'll leave the link for a compatible storage for this size, but I'm gonna go for the bigger size, how you can modify it to put the bigger storage in here. Because the bigger storage, if you check on this side, there's a little cover, plastic cover in here that, that does not let you to stick this one over. So first thing first, we're gonna remove all the screws. All the screws are the same size and height, except the front two end corners. So these two, I'll keep them in a separate piles but these are a different screw size. A tiny bit short by one millimeter. So keep those indifferent and remove the rest of the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions in the comment area. Uh, you don't have to pull the screws all the way out. As long as they are loosening them, you're fine. But if it does come out, don't worry about it. Because sometimes if you pull on them, they do come out. So I'd rather pull them out so in order to not make them, they don't fall around. All right, then you need an opening tool. For the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are useful to opening cases on cover. You want to stick it between the bottom cover and the palm rest. Okay, and then you want to work yourself just Twist it around, go like that. And then you're gonna see the cover opening up. Go all around, towards the sides, left and right, and then bring it up, wiggle it around, and it will release itself. Okay, put that to one side. And right away, we can see that there's enough space here to put this one. The mouse click, there's a button here and there's a button here. So if I push this one, it does not raise this plastic any higher than what it is. So it doesn't, it's not gonna conflict with this one. So you wanna grab your uh, SATA connector with a two notch. You wanna bring it inside the jack, push it all the way there, bring it down. Now you can either get a double-sided adhesive tape in here and put it right on top. and for it to get it stuck in there or you can just leave it in here and on the bottom cover in here all you want to do you want to just cut the let me get my cutters all 
So what you want to do in here? All you want to do is just cut this portion like that. So this, that's what I'm talking about. The screws keep falling off right now. But let's keep them in one side, whatever it falls off. And you want to just cut this portion. Just work it around. Just cut it like that. And there we go. So all you need to do is to cut this tiny portion towards the inside. And once you did cut that one out, all you need to do is to grab a little uh, duct tape or Kapton tape, whichever you have, or electric tape. In this case, I have both. You can put a Kapton tape right over this portion, or you can put an electrical tape. Because this aluminum thing, I don't want it to touch the SSD. So I just cut it. Put it right over, and there we go. You don't need to put too much. Now, all you need to do is to make sure it's in place and it's not gonna go anywhere. And you wanna bring the power down, sit it down, and just squeeze the rest, and there you have your SSD in there and it's not gonna go anywhere. It's just sitting there, putting snugly right in there. And then you can even put the cover on top without any problem. Now you can put an up to one terabyte uh, SATA connector right in there and you're not gonna have any issues. And you can install your windows in there. Okay. And the last thing is to put the rest of the screws and just uh, format the lab tablet and you'll be all set to go and with a higher capacity. I hope you guys like this video and help you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.